know about you know about you know about love you know uh, tell me what you know what you know about you know about you know about love you know about love what you know what you know what you know about love, you know about love. You know about love. welcome back welcome back to the channel struggle streaming with bk in today's video we're going to continue our countdown of bond number nine's top cents today we're going to go from number 40 down to number 31 and that's next up after the intro let's get it next up in our bond number nine countdown is number 40 governor's island um this one here, this is an incense-based scent, an incense-based woody scent. Um, this one right here pretty much reminds me of going out on the lake um, and not Camp Crystal Lake where Jason's going to get you, but uh, being out on Lake Michigan. And I say that because, um, you know, well, people who have been out on Lake Michigan know it's like you got the wooded areas. So with the base having the the cedar wood the incense and the resin you get that woody that woody on the lake smell on the dry down with this one um this is a scent you could wear it's a little versatile you could wear it at a late night event gala something like that um suit and tie you could also wear it as a daily wear like it's real versatile i really like this scent uh projection um, it's not too bad, probably about three feet, something like that. You get um, longevity. I think the longevity on this one was seven to eight hours, um, seven to eight hours. Um, Governor's Island is a really nice conser conservative scent. It's not too flashy, but it's not too weak. Um, it got. This is one of those scents you could wear on a daily basis with no issue. So number third. Uh, Number 40, Governor's Island. Coming in at number 39 on Bond Number 9's top sense is Coney Island. Coney Island. Um, Coney Island is the rock star of the Bond Number 9 um, beach scents. Um, you got different type of notes in here. One of one of the notes in here is margarita. And that's definitely what this smells like. It smells like the beach. Um, in my review of the beach scents, um, I talked about how my daughter thought I was out swimming because she told me I smelled like a like a beach. That comes from the salt and the salt inside of this, the salt note inside of this fragrance. The margarita, it smells like margarita salt probably seem weird but it smells like margarita salt it just it reminds me of it reminds me of the tropics okay um the virgin islands cancun um cabo right like it, it reminds you of down there like this is definitely a beach scent there's no mistaking that whatsoever coney island is a rock star and i love to wear this when i'm out of town going to the beach so number 30 number 39 on the list of bond top cents is coney island coming in at number 38 on our list of bond number nine top cents is queens this well I'll turn you the bottom so you can see the side one side Got the map the other side you got the cube how oh, we gonna roll with the map all right uh this scent right here is a amber floral scent um longevity on this is probably like seven to eight hours uh my story with queens is it took a long time for me to buy this this is one of the probably last five bond number nine scents that i purchased to add to my collection 
um, with the purple bottle, with it being named Queens, I just assumed it was for women. It's listed as unisex, but you know how bond number nine is. Some of them, when it's listed as unisex, they lean masculine or feminine. Most of them lean feminine. But with it being named Queens, I was assuming like it's for women, Queens. But nah, you know, they it has to represent something in New York. So Queens, New York. So eventually one day I was bull drunking around in sacks and I smelled it. And I couldn't believe how good it smelled. Um, it does lean feminine. I will say that, but it is unisex. A man can pull this off. And I can say this confident, confidently, fellas. If you wear queens, you will get a lot of compliments from women. Maybe not from maybe not from men, but women love to smell queens on a man. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. Women love to smell this fragrance right here. They love to smell this on the men, right? They try to get close to you and sniff you and everything else. So coming in at number 38 on our list is bond number nine, Queens. Next up on our bond number nine, top, top sense is number 37. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Clearly. This is the best looking bottle in Bond number nine. <laughs> I love the graffiti look of this bottle. Um, and it's an awesome scent as well. Um, this is a woody citrus type fragrance. Um, the base notes are woody. Um, you got different type of woods with the leather, the cedar wood, etc. Um, the opening, you can, when you first spray it on, the opening you get grapefruit. The grapefruit note is real strong in this. Um, in the mid, in the mid notes, the superstar is the gin. When this, after, after this dries down, you can smell the gin in it good. So, um, I don't want to call it gin and juice, but, um, with the grapefruit and the gin, gin and juice. No, nah, but, um, <laughs> um, this is a really attractive fragrance to smell. Um, it's a summertime fragrance. I think summer, spring, early fall right but and i always got a but but um i don't get much longevity or longevity wasn't that bad five to six hours but for normal bond number nines no you don't get long projection with this and uh i mean long long left longevity and the projection is not is weak uh it's weak to me um if somebody's real close up on you, they can smell it, right? After the dry down. But it doesn't project out. It doesn't project out much, right? Somebody has to be all up on you, like your girlfriend, slash boyfriend. They say it's unisex. I think, yeah, it's unisex. Girl or man can pull this off. But a person has to be all up on you in order to smell this. This is a great smelling fragrance, great smelling fragrance, but with the low projection, it knocks it down. This would probably would have been in my twenties, but it's knocked all the way back to 37, you know, with the price point of bond number nine and not getting much projection. Y'all know me. I want somebody to smell me if I'm gonna pay this much for my cologne, but coming in at number 37 is bond number nine, Brooklyn. Next up on bond number nine's top scents is number 36, Sag Harbor. Now, Sag Harbor is, for me, is it got the good and it got the bad. Um, I'm going to start off with the bad because I'm going to say the good for last. The bad with this is... It's a floral, it starts off in the opening. It's a floor, a very floral opening. This little floral opening. It's a very floral opening. And what I mean by that is it's a strong flower smell, which doesn't work for me. Like I like roses, but I like them in my in my base notes mostly. Or at least the mids on the dry down. I love rose. 
But besides Rose, it'd be iffy with some of the the flower notes that they put in bond number nine. But um, the flowers that they have in this one, um, it's the magnolia. It's the star, the star note of it on the opening. It just don't, it don't click with me. It's too, it, don't, it ain't even sweet. It's just strong. It's strong and I don't like it. Okay. So set, Sag Harbor with me is like a love-hate relationship. But once it dries down, this is a dry down king right here. I love this scent after it dries down, right? Um, that ooh kick in and woo, it smells, it smells good then. It smells like a man. So that's why they consider this unisex. When it starts off, it's straight feminine, straight flowery, straight feminine. But after it dries down, it, it's very manly and I love it. So it's lo a love-hate relationship with it. But um far as longevity, you get easily nine to ten hours out of this. Easily nine to ten hours. So the longevity on this is beautiful, right? This one of the ones you spray on your clothes. If you don't spray it on your skin, you spray it on your clothes, it might make it through the wash. All right. The longevity on this is great. The projection definitely is strong, especially when you first crack it open. The dry down is nice. It's not as strong, but you get projection for probably the first six hours of this. I mean, like good projection. This is an awesome, this is an awesome dry down cologne for a man. This is an awesome opening cologne if you're a woman. Well, perfume, if you're a woman. So coming in at number 36, we got bond number nine, Sag Harbor. Coming in at number five. Of our bond number nine top scents is bond number nine highline highline um as you can see if you can see the bottle let me get that up there uh they got the grass on the bottle um this is a very grassy scent i love this this is one of my guilty pleasures from the house of bond when you crack this open it smells like Freshly cut grass on a Sunday, on a Sunday afternoon after you just got out of church. Okay, it smells good. Um, you hear me say it smells like freshly cut grass. Um, do you know how I explained before? Do you know how sometimes you'll smell gas and it'll smell good in a weird way? Like this is like that, but for grass. It's like they had some grass, cut it, threw it in a bottle. Pour some water in there and sprinkle some sugar on top. So, um, so it have a little like fruity. Well, I guess that's the bergamot, but so it had like the little fruity, the fruity smell on the top, on top of the freshly cut grass. This is an awesome, this is an awesome fragrance that Bond Number Nine came up with. I recommend it, like to everyone. But, take on the butt, you can't wear this every day. So that's why it's kind of far back. Well, not really. 35. No, 35 out of 70 ain't that bad. It's still in the top half. But because you can't wear this every day, I can't have it too far up um, in my list of scents. But it's an awesome fragrance for it does what it does well. Okay? This is an awesome scent. So I would recommend everybody try it out. And if you got a, a little grass fetish or whatever... Or you was like me, had to cut your grandma grass and stuff all the time. <laughs> you might love this scent. So coming in at number 35, bond number nine, Highline. Coming in at number 34 on our bond number nine countdown is New York Amber. That's a pretty bottle right there, right? Um... New York Amber is a part of the Bond Number no. 9 when they released them called the New York Notes where they had the Amber, the uh, New York Musk. They had a couple of more. The uh, New York Oud, um, the Sandalwood. I know I'm missing one. Um, the Patchouli and the Patchouli as well. But um, this one right here is my favorite Bond Number no. 9 Amber scent. Now, they have three ambers. They have the Harris Amber. That's more feminine. 
they have the Dubai Amber. I didn't like that at all, so I didn't buy it. It just didn't do it for my nose. And we have the New York Amber. The New York Amber is based off the based off the notes from the replacement of the Harris Amber. But the notes are a little different. Um, this one is unisex. The, the Harris Amber is... I guess a man can pull it off, but, you know, a special type of man can pull it off. But it's definitely leans all the way on the feminine side, maybe a little bit on the masculine side. But this one right here is more 60-40 feminine than masculine. But it smells awesome. It smells awesome by itself as a standalone. Um, it has the jasmine, the amber, um, the base. At the base, it got the oud and, of course, some saffron up in here. Um, like I said, this, this smells amazing and it's, it's definitely the strongest bond number nine scent. I'm thinking maybe Uday New York will give it a run for his money, but I'm thinking maybe the Amber is stronger than the Uday New York. This bond number nine Amber will give you 20 hours. Yes, I didn't, I'm not making that up. I mean like 20 hours of longevity easily you wash your clothes this is still gonna be on there so i recommend if you put this on don't spray it on your clothes spray it on your spray it on your wrists spray it on your necks you know put it on your skin right because it's gonna make it through the wash and the dry you got to wash the clothes two three times it's really strong it gives out a great projection like this is an awesome scent to wear but this ain't something i'm gonna wear every day like well Mainly because I'm a man. But a woman probably could rock this. But it's so strong. You don't wear this to the office. You don't wear this in the summertime. Please don't wear this in the summertime. You're going you're gonna to kill the whole neighborhood walking by. Because it is strong. And when I mean strong, I mean strong. Also, with it being on the feminine side, y'all know what I like to do. I like to mix things up when it's feminine. And when I wear the amber, I come across with... It's New York note counterpart, the musk, New York musk. My favorite bond scent is New York Oud by itself, standalone fragrance. But you talking about combining two, two fragrances together, you take this amber and spray a little amber on, bam, bam, right? Hit the wrist and you come across with this New York musk. Once they combine up and dry down, it is the best smelling bond number nine combination you can get. I love the way this smells, okay? A little bit more musk than the amber. Man, it smells amazing. But anyway, I'm talking too much about the amber. Bond, at number 34, we got bond number nines, New York Amber. Coming in at number 33 on bond number nine countdowns is bond number nine, Shelter Island. Shelter Island. Shelter Island was featured in my bond number nine beach scents. This is bond number nine's best beach scent. This is the killer right here. I love this fragrance. Um, I'm surprised I ain't got it higher, but... I did a smell test and it came in at number, what we at? 33. But I love this. Um, if you've had signature scent, um, if you smell signature scent, this is basically sick made signature scent for the summer. It has a little pepper in there added in. But it smells amazing. The dry down is amazing. The opening is amazing. The projection it's perfect. It's not too big, not too small. The longevity, eight, nine hours easily. Okay. You can wear this to the beach. You can wear this to the club. You can wear this to a meeting. Okay. You can even wear this in the winter, which I can't say about most bond number nine um, beach, the beach scents. So you can wear this one all year round. It's considered a summer fragrance. Okay. So we're going to call it a summer fragrance. But you can wear this all year round. This is an awesome scent. 
from bond number nine. Okay, coming in number 33, bond number nine, Shelters Island. All right, everybody, when we come down to number 32, and I like to say when I release my top 10, the two, two most fragrances I heard from people that were missing were Lafayette Street and, of course, everybody's, for some reason, favorite, Bleecker Street. Where's Bleecker Street? You don't have Bleecker Street? No Bleecker Street? Look, I'm not a Bleecker Street fan. All right. Well, I'm not a Bleecker Street fanboy. Not saying it's bad, but I just don't get all the hoopla for Bleecker Street. But coming in at number 32 on our list is bond number nine, Bleecker Street. The Joker bottle. Y'all like that bottle, right? This bottle is awesome. I'll give it that. All right. That's one thing I will give it. Hold on. Watch out, Amber. Amber. You over here. It's Bleecker Street time to shine. All right. So this is a blueberry fragrance that everybody loves and everybody talks about and everybody raves over. I'm not anti Bleecker Street. Uh, let me let y'all know that. I'm not anti Bleecker Street. Um, I like it. I like the way it smells. It's just that I have a couple things, couple issues with it where I don't rank it so high. Um, first of all, there be like everybody be like... A lot of people be like, oh, it's a blueberry fragrance. It's a blueberry fragrance. If you want a blueberry fragrance from the house of Bond, go get Montauk. Because Montauk smells much better. And it does the blueberry better. It does the berry better. But Bleecker Street is a blueberry fragrance. It smells good. When it goes on, it smells good. Like, I'm not going to lie. It, smell, it does smell good. But my issues with Bleecker Street are... The longevity on my skin. And I know everybody's skin is different. The main problem I have is the longevity. It probably lasts five, six hours on my skin, right? And it doesn't project out. Like I hear other reviewers, because Bleaker Street, Bleaker Street is probably the most reviewed bond number nine on the internet. And everybody tell talks about how they get compliment at the compliment with this fragrance. Like I wear this and I don't like, I don't get complimented from Bleecker Street. I don't think I've ever wore Bleecker Street. And I've wore this at least seven, eight, nine, ten times. And I've never had anybody stop me and ask me what I'm wearing. I put on things like Wall Street, which gets slept on and talked about. I get countless. You can't even count how many compliments you get. You throw on this Sag Harbor right here after it dries down, you get compliments up the ass. Uh, Coney Island, when I'm out of town on the beach, people be like, what you got on? I get compliments from most Bond Never Nines I wear. But I'm assuming it's just my skin. Bleecker Street doesn't pop like that on my skin. So I just don't have it rated that high. Bleecker Street also, my second issue with Bleecker Street is I think it's a and maybe I'm showing my age here, you know, my 40s, my 40s now, so I'm, I'm an old man, I guess. But Bleecker Street is more of, I think, a college age fragrance to me. I think a whole bunch of dudes is running across, well, rolling across college, and they are wearing Bleecker Street. Like, it reminds me of One Million Lucky. And I don't mean, like, far as, like, they smell a light. That's not what I mean. I mean, like, out of the one million, you got the one million gold bar, and that's like anybody can wear. It smells awesome. You have the one, the one million privé, which is like a grown man version of one mil. That's for more sophisticated men. And then you have the one million lucky. That's more for like teenagers and college students. It's like real fruity. And yes, I understand that Bleecker Street is a fruity fragrance. You know, even though it has some wood base notes, but it's like a fruity fragrance. And it's, I like fruit. I like citrus. I like fruit. But this is just, it's too fruity and it doesn't project to me. And it doesn't last long. If I'm going to be spending $400 on a bottle, I want you to smell me. And I don't want to have to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wearing it as deodorant and everything else in order for you to smell me. But enough of my. Shitting on Bleecker Street like everybody say I do. I shit on Bleecker Street. 
But enough of me shitting on Bleecker Street. I like Bleecker Street. It's a decent smell. It does what it does. But it's just not as fabulous as I hear everyone saying. Coming in at number 31 on our bond number nine top sense is Washington Square. Washington Square. This fragrance right here, I love. I love Washington Square. Like, I ain't even got much left. I don't want to waste it, but. I love wearing this fragrance right here. Let me see if y'all, let me show y'all the bottle so y'all can see how much I got left up in here. Hopefully y'all can see that. But if you see that, you can see that I don't have much left in this bottle. I love wearing this fragrance. Washington Square smells a freaking amazing. Okay. This is one of the most slept on fragrances in bond number nine. It's considered unisex. A male can wear it. A female can wear it. I will say that it leans more feminine than masculine. Okay. But this is one of bond number nine's feminine scents that I don't have to come across with the New York musk. Right. It's probably 60, 40 feminine, but it smells so good. You get tons and tons and tons of compliments unlike bleaker street no let me stop shitting on it but washington square the star of washington square is i would say the mid notes you have the purple rose and the honey okay when you first spray it on you get the the fruity smell of of the bergamot and the amber Okay, that's what you smell when you first crack it open. Even though I believe amber is one of the base notes, but I smell that amber and that bergamot when it first comes on. Then, after it goes into the dry down phase, you smell that you smell that honey and that rose. And I don't know, they must have been in the lab for months and months coming up with this because this mixed to perfection. Like when this dries down, it smells so awesome. I love this fragrance um it doesn't give you a over a over height projection you know you get a nice little circle around you where people can smell you if they're close to you but it ain't killing everybody in the office right longevity gives me eight to nine hours of strong smell where you can still smell it um you know how most bond number nines go through like three phases you got the spray on, then in the mid on the dry down, and then 10 hours later, you still got the base notes holding on. You smell this, you smell the mid notes, and it, it, it just lingers right there. This ain't one of the ones that go through three or four different smells. Like when you first spray it on, you get the fruitiness, then it goes to that rose and honey, and that basically sits there even when it goes down to the base notes you still smell that rose and honey. So this is an awesome fragrance from Bond Number no. 9. It's one of his most slept on fragrances from Bond Number no. 9. You don't see many reviews for Washington Square on the internet, but this is an awesome fragrance that I recommend everybody try. You in Saks, you in Bond Number no. 9 store in New York, ask for Angelo. You in Bond Number no. 9 store in Miami, ask for Anthony. <laughs> if you were any... Try it, okay? Ask for a sample, smell it, and I guarantee you will want to add this to your collection. So, coming in at number 31, one of my favorites, bond number nine, Washington Square. All right, everybody, there you have it. Our countdown from top bond number nine cents, numbers 40 to 31, okay? Um, do me a favor if you're still here with me, hook me up with a like and a subscription. Um, also, my question for y'all today is, what's your favorite bond number nine? And do you have any one of these in here? And most, and of course, how do you feel about Bleecker Street? <laughs>
But uh, thanks for taking the time to watch my video. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, like, subscribe, um, comment below. It really helps the brother out trying to grow the channel. Um, struggle streaming with BK. And that's all I got for y'all. I'm out. Know about, you know about, you know about love. You know, uh, tell me what you know, what you know about, you know about, you know about love. What you know about love, what you know, what you know, what you know.